All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is the brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii. Coming at you with another lesson. This lesson is on this video that you see in front of you. Okay, and so today I was watching a video, an uh, elder brother Prashai video that he did about uh, this guy, the so-called uh, God-sent comforter, uh, Tazadaki's death. You know, this de this dude died on April 1st, and, um, you know, it wasn't confirmed, but he went to the website, and I also went to the same website, and uh, it, it was there, his website confirmed it that they, you know, this dude had passed away or whatever. And so the point of the matter is that uh, he said something in this video. I guess this is his last speech and uh, to his congregation before he had to go to jail because he basically got caught up stealing like over five million dollars from his congregation. And these people still followed him. And every time you see him preaching and, 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 and doing these kind of sit down ceremonies or whatever, he's always talking to a bunch of women. You know, it was a, a bunch of dudes that followed him, too, as well. But it was a bunch of women that was uh, uh that usually be in a crowd, you know. And so, you know, uh, these people really thought this this nigga was the God sent comforter when the scripture says who the God sent comforter is. All right. And that comforter is the is the scriptures. Let me let me get that real quick. That comforter is the Holy Scriptures. This is St. John. Actually. This is St. John. Okay, uh, where we at? Uh, six. Salakia. So Khan, this is uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 16. It says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. And this dude, Comfy, he's not abiding here forever. Okay, this guy's in the, uh, this guy's in the spirit world right now, man. You know, all right, after all the wickedness he did, you know, telling all of these Jakes, he really got a lot of Jakes believing that he's the, the comforter and he's not. This dude is the discomforter. He was taking, he was taking money from his congregation, forcing them to pay like, you know, all kinds of crazy amount of tithes, you know, and on top of the fact he was that blot that was covering up the, the high priest, man. As you can see in this picture, he's standing in front of uh, high priest Ariad, man, and Hey, this could be the catalyst that Yahweh Bashima Shah uses to uh, you know, put to take off those filthy garments, which are spiritual filthy garments, off of High Priest and uh um put those clean ones on them along with that fair Mitri. You know, because this dude was nothing but a liar, man. And he was a pompous, proud demon, man. And the Lord got rid of that nigga and he sold out. And it was evident too. You know? And so the point of the matter is, is that this guy is, he, he is not the comforter because he's not abiding forever. So it says, uh, and I will pray, St. John 14 and 16, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. So we know that's not Jermaine Grant. Okay. Uh, St. John 14, 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you. So that comforter is the word. You see, it says, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the word of truth. This word, this truth. Okay. And it says what? It says, uh, he he shall teach you all things. How did, it, how did the comforter teach us all things? Because the book, Yahweh Shai said, I come in a volume of the book and it's written to me. All right. So give us comfort to let us know that even when all of this hell is breaking loose, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Shai is still with us. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna uh, protect us. All this is in that. All this is in the book, and it brought us to remember us to what to who we are as we're the Israelites, man. Through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, you know. So we already know that that's not Tazik Black yet. Whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you, man. And that's that wasn't this guy right here. And so I was looking at this video. I was looking at this last video that they I guess he, he did before he had to go to the Huskow, right? 
and he's basically trying to smooth things over with his com with his with his uh, congregation mm. by telling them that you know other churches were being hit worldwide when it really wasn't. It was it was them niggas. It was ICGJC man, particularly him. And you notice how like that whole criminal investigation it it leaned on him, him and another guy. But he was the main target, man. You know? And he claims that, oh, yeah, they're coming at the Alicia. No, nigga, you're the demon, man. And so he actually says that in this clip I'm about to show you. And he didn't even know what he was talking about. He probably was trying to pertain to, you know, Esau's government. But in reality, he was the demon that had to go, man. And he was like, he basically told his congregation, be prepared to see these other so-called apostles and these other the other leadership because why wow, he ain't gonna be there he's gonna be locked up for two years and then nigga end up dying in prison you know or on transit you see see how you how about you shot got this nigga up out of here man COVID 19 along with his other underlying issues health issues that he had all right so let me play this real quick so it's bizarre responsibility to always be honest with you and make sure that you're informed no matter how hard some things may be to hear um you have a right to know do everybody understand that and spiritually i'm gonna tell you we're under attack we are under assault and they're trying to take the leadership out the demons okay yeah because and that's that's the point he said they try to take the leadership out the demons well he's a demon he was a major demon man this dude was a, a, a huge hindrance, you know, and he led a lot of Israelites. He got a lot of blood on his hands, man. He led a lot of Israelites to really believe that he was the so-called God sent comforter, man. And he was not, man. The scripture says that he wouldn't leave us. Comf uh, he wouldn't leave us comfortless, man. It says. Uh, yeah, the scripture says he wouldn't leave us comfortless. This is uh, St. John. 14 and 20, I mean 15 and 26. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, you see? Because that's what the comforter is, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify me. And that's that that's the Bible, man. That's the Bible. That's the word of the how about you was shot. When you read in uh second Ezra chapter 15, it says, Let me get it real quick. Let me see where I was at here. Second Timothy three. And I'm gonna get uh the second Andrew chapter fifteen. Verse verse one. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So this the words of the Heavenly Father is the comforter. The words of Yahweh Shai is the comforter that was Spoken about by Yahweh Shai, that he was going to send us, all right? Let me get this real quick, where I was at. Uh, so that demons that were being taken away was Tazit Black, yeah, man. Yep, that demon that was being taken away was Tazit Black, yeah, man. All right? He he was the, he's the demon, all right. Uh, Saint John sixteen and seven. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth: it is expedient for you to that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And it was talking about the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right. It wasn't talking about no black ass nigga named uh. Taz a document uh, who was nothing but a charlatan and the Lord got this dude swiftly up out of here man and um, you, you heard him say it. It's, it's our responsibility to always be honest with you and make sure that you're informed no matter how hard some things may be to hear um, you have a right to know do everybody understand that and spiritually I'm going to tell you we're under attack we are under assault and they're trying to take the leadership out the demons okay um, yeah, they, he said they try to take the leadership out the demons, man. Well, he he was a major demon. He was a major. Yeah, this guy was a major demon, man. You know, and again, maybe Yahweh Shemal is gonna use that to remove those filthy garments 
from a from a from a high priest Ari man. This is a uh, Second Timothy three and one. It says this. Know also that in the last days, which we're in perilous times, which we're in. Uh, let me read it again. This note. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, and we're in those times. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, and that's what this dude was a prime example of: covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. That's what this guy was: disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent. Fierce despises of those that are good, and that's what this dude, uh, the, the so-called comforter, was. You know, he 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 him and his his minions jumped out and attacked the prophets of the Lord. You know, it says uh, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. I'm sorry, let me read up again. Uh, uh, verse three: Without natural affection, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despises of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of, of the Most High, and that's what that dude Jermaine Grant was, man. And they got him. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai got him. You know, having a form of godliness, yeah, he he had the he had the robes on. They were throwing the, the, the mega Passovers. You know, this guy was the he he had all his regalia on. He puts all his minions and all his regalia. You know, and they, they really had you thinking, and he had high priest Ari Yah with him, so they really had you thinking that this dude was the guy, man. But the whole time he was comforting himself, and his his congregation was discomforted, you know. And they're still lost; the majority of them still lost. But down his flock is gonna be scattered, man. You know, and they're not gonna know what to do. It says, uh, having a form of godliness, but denying, uh. Uh, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. For this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. And that's why you've seen the majority of that congregation standing up every time he was sitting, doing his little speech and shit. Was a bunch of women, man, who just, no matter what they say about this dude, you know, because he can, he try to flip the scriptures around, and say, "Oh, look, see, we being attacked. They getting us, man. They coming at us. This is the time of trouble." No, nigga, it was a time of trouble for you because you're, you were wicked, man. All right, and Yahweh Shema Shai wasn't dealing with this nigga. You know, he's in the spirit world now. He in his right mind now. But while he was here, he was doing nothing but wickedness, man. He wasn't even, he wasn't telling you the truth. The majority of those people believe use the word Christ and Jesus, even though they know the name Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, they're exalting a whole other name, man. And then this dude, he was exalting himself. All right. Um, and this is like what the order is there for. This is why God gave me the order to set up. You're gonna have to get used to seeing the apostles and the bishops. And chief priests, they're going to be doing your weddings, they're going to be doing your buns, banafs, no more can you just pick, those days are over where you pick, used to pick somebody, now we're going to appoint a bishop, the bishops you're going to see coming into their order and doing most of the service, um, Satan, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not here to be optimistic, okay, I'm going to give you, I, I like to tell you the worst case scenario, yeah, he's not comforting you, that's not, there's no comfort in that, see, see, I told you, this nigga's a discomforter, man. Because the, the scripture, even though the scriptures said is is uh, in it is uh, lamentations and woe, guess what? There is an optimism behind it. Yahweh Bashimam Shai is coming. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is sending Yahweh Shai to to uh, to get his elect. Yo, he's bringing salvation. The kingdom of heaven is is, is at hand, and that Lord willing, we be part of the elect. We're going to be part of that first dominion. That's optimism, man. But this nigga said, oh, I ain't here to be optimistic. Why? Because this nigga was going to jail, federal penitentiary for up to 18 months, man, at least. And he didn't even do all his time. He did a small amount of time in a prison cell and he died accordingly, supposedly of COVID-19, man. A respiratory disease, which he, 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 they, they just got, they got it. Yahweh Bashir Shah got this nigga up out the way. You know, don't be surprised when you see high priest out yard. 
uh, uh, link back up with the elders and apostles, the apostles and the elders, man. You know, because this dude was 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 a, a, a liar, man. Straight up, man. Salakia. This is why God gave me the order to set up. You're going to have to get used to seeing the apostles and the bishops and the chief priests. They're going to be doing your weddings. They're going to be doing your buns, banafs. No more can you just pick. Those days are over where you pick. You used to pick somebody. Now we're going to appoint a bishop. The bishops you're going to see coming into their order and doing most of the service. Um, Satan, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not here to be optimistic, okay? I'm, yeah, that I'm that, that don't sound like comfort. <laughs> that was like no comfort, man. Yeah, I, I like to tell you the worst case scenario first, okay? <laughs> Satan is trying to destroy us. He's trying to destroy the leadership, take them out at the same time. Okay, I'm not even going to tell you about you know, what I you know, what I got to deal with. Yeah, um, because but, yeah, why, why wasn't he not going to tell you? I thought he was a comforter. Why wasn't he going to tell his congregation what he had to deal with? Because he had to go to prison. He got found guilty. Matter of fact, I don't even think they did a... Uh, they did a uh, a trial. He took the plea. Him and that dude, Lincoln, whatever his name is, man. His treasurer, man. They took that plea that 18, they got 18 months in prison, man. I think the, the other dude got like 12 months in prison with some probation at the end of that shit. You know? Why wouldn't he tell you the truth, man? Because the nigga's a liar. Even until the end, he was a liar, man. He want, us, he want, to, be, he want to get rid of us. And there may be yeah, how about you know want to get rid of this name he, you may have to move on without us I'll <laughs> give you the worst case scenario. he leaving you comfortless this nigga left his congregation comfortless I thought he was a godsend comforter man this nigga is true bro he in the spirit world now man but you move on you know I'm not going to say the Lord is not going to allow certain things to happen he, never, he hasn't told me that all we're supposed to do is just stay in this fight and continue to fight unto death. Like that scripture that I wrote, to, I read tonight. So you can't be, if you don't see people on, on a certain week or something like that or something happening and you hear about it or whatever, um, you know, we ought to continue. Did everybody understand that? Everybody got that? All right, so that's the, uh, that's the worst case scenario. <laughs> Um, that demonic, that demonic ass fucking laugh, man. Fuck that nigga, man. Anyway, it is Zechariah three and one, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. And Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, said unto Satan, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, rebuke thee, O Satan. Even Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord. That have chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua the, was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with changed raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair metre upon his head. So they set a fair mishi upon his head, and they clothed him and with garments, and the angel of the Lord stood by, man. And that is who we believe is high priest Ariyah, which you see him standing behind this devil right here, man. Okay, this deceiver right here. All right? So, yeah, man. Hey, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai. Call her long, Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai for getting this nigga up out of here. And it's going to be more of this, man. Because the Lord didn't send him. He sent out his, those pastors at his own heart, which are the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man. Okay? And it's getting more evident every day, man. So with that, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wahalakak Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, the teachers' word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well, and salutations to my fellow Akim. Keep pushing, keep striving. We're almost out of here. Hey, Shalom.